For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cancel the rents. Cancel the rents. Cancel the rents. The cancellation of the rent. The cancellation of all rents. On April 25th, I'm going to be joining up with the Party for Socialism and Liberation and many others to protest, uh, to have a car protest demanding that the United States government cancel the rents and mortgage payments for millions of working uh, people all over this country. Uh, the, the United States has 22 million people who just applied for unemployment in just one month. We had uh, 570,000 people who applied for unemployment just this month in Massachusetts. Uh, the, the, the government continues to bail out Wall Street, continues to bail out these large multi-million and multi-billion dollar financial institutions, right? While the people continue to uh, suffer and plunge deeper into poverty. All of the rental payments during the duration of this pandemic must be canceled, must be waived. And not just for renters, but also for homeowners, their mortgage payments should just be canceled during the duration of this pande pandemic. And also for uh, small businesses and small landlords, because small landlords, you know, even though they're landlords, many of them can't go three or four months with, you know, without any income. And if they don't pay their mortgage, that means their tenants are also going to be uh, evicted when that home is foreclosed. So we're focusing on the issue of housing because this is the urgent issue uh, among many other urgent issues with the rent and the mortgages being due in just uh, another week. In order to beat this pandemic, we need to physically distance, but we can't physically distance if we don't have a home. Organizers across Boston have successfully secured an eviction moratorium, which is a huge success for the people of Massachusetts. But under this current legislation, people will still be expected to pay rent. For those who have lost their source of income because of the pandemic, this simply means an accumulation of debt. Those who can't pay now will be forced to pay later. But we don't need an accumulation of debt or simply a deferment of evictions. We need an entire cancellation of rents. We know that for workers, the money lost during this pandemic will not simply reappear after all of this is over. And that's why it's important to cancel the rents, to ensure that during a global crisis, our homes are protected over the right to profit from them. In the food pantries, the food lines, the, the people waiting four to six hours from their cars in long lines stretching many blocks in San Antonio, in Detroit, in Minneapolis, all over the place, waiting for one box of food or one bag of food. And to think that when those workers, and whether they're, they have a job right now or not, they're workers, when those workers go home, they have to essentially be rationing every single meal and, and they're not working, and it's not because they haven't, they've chosen to not work. They're not working because the government has told them, for public health reasons, they have to stay home. So just wrap your head around the absurdity of this, that the government is telling people they cannot work, they should not work, telling businesses to close down, and yet all of your bills are still going to be due? Doesn't the government have an obligation, if it's going to shut down basically the whole economy, to make sure that people are not going hungry, are not going to be evicted at the end of this. This is a very elementary and simple program that we're, we're putting forward here of canceling the rents and canceling the mortgages. Yeah,